everyone. Two charts tell the weather story today. This one showing Sunday potential for a wee bit of snow and the corresponding temperatures. The end. Okay, some background to help you put any prediction about anything in context right off the hop. How to do it. Rank storms, that is. If you were to rank storms according to strength, however you define strength, the probability distribution would mirror the bell curve, with the mean or average storm smack in the middle. Two-thirds of all storms fall on either side of the peak of the bell, as highlighted in dark blue. These are the storms that models and meteorologists score well on, being so frequent we get lots of practice. In a baseball analogy, we get many at-bats and eventually learn the tendencies of the pitcher, in this case, God. The technical term for the dark blue area is one standard deviation, denoted by the Greek letter sigma. The probability of a storm falling outside the one sigma boundary is one in two or once every two years. The probability of a two sigma storm is once every 22 years. Maybe a lucky forecaster experiences two of these storms in their career. Then again, maybe none. The probability of a three sigma storm is once every 370 years. And after that, it gets stupid and frankly imaginary because we have only a teensy tiny sample size of storms compared to the lifetime of a livable atmosphere, which is what, a million years rounding down in the worst way? In this idealized distribution, a four sigma storm occurs once every 10,000 years, whatever. The point is, once you get out on the tails of the distribution, you're in territory where not only do meteorologists never get it right, no one does. Not even Nostradamus or the flack of wah wah. Uh oh. Here comes a flock of wah-wahs. Note that I've added to the flock of wah-wahs. Renaming them powder picker poofters, because all love to beat their BC or other weather ignorance. Whenever a friendly CBC camera is rolling or a hapless Globe and Mail reporter calls, but positively respond to a powder picker invite to debate, not on your life. So terrified are these pussies, knowing full well to be crushed. In summary, never trust any prediction lacking a very prominent upfront uncertainty statement or lacking verification of past performance by the person making the prediction. Never trust predictions of events that correspond to the distant tales of a distribution, like say, oh, Armageddon or the climate apocalypse. And never trust any prediction beyond about a year. But never take my word for anything except pow with the pig. Go read the New York Times bestseller, Super Forecasting, The Art and Science of Prediction by Tetlock and Gardner.